Hello YouTube, this is Dazza the Cameraman. Today is Tuesday, March the 1st, 2016. And in this video we're looking at some images of a cruise ship that I filmed sailing out of the local harbour. This is the Diamond Princess cruise ship. It is approximately 950 feet long by about 200 feet tall. 205 feet tall to be exact. So here it is leaving the port of Tauranga at Mount Monganui on the 27th of January 2016. As you can see it's got a number of, of decks on it, number of levels, and we see it leaving the harbour here as it headed around the base of Mount Monganui and then out into the ocean, out into the Pacific Ocean. Now I was filming this on a Canon Legria FS200 video camera with a 37 times optical zoom. So here we are zoomed up and we can uh, see the Diamond Princess sitting nice and level on the ocean as she was heading out. Now at this point when I was filming this shot the, the tripod was down quite low uh, to the beach, uh, right down by the water level. Um, and we did have a bit of surge with the waves so I brought the camera uh, further up on the tripod just to get over those high waves. The, the swell on the day was about uh, 1.5 meters so it wasn't terribly high. So now you can see that the ship is further out and uh, we've already lost part of the hull. The interesting thing to note though that is as the ship heads out that um, the visible part of the ship that we can see still takes up approximately one third the width of my video frame. Okay, so there's no digital zoom used here, this is all optical zoom. So here we go, and we've got a bit of uh, sunshine on the um, stern of the ship, the back of the ship there. I should also point out that on this day there was extremely high humidity uh, due to the weather and uh, it did make visibility conditions not ideal. So we can see that the ship is getting further out and as it gets further out it gets lower, it's sinking over the horizon. And as it gets further away because of the humidity it does become harder to see because of the haze. Now this is about where I stopped filming, and in this frame here, this is an earlier frame, and you can see that there's a box around it, because in the next shot I've got an overlay of one of my earlier shots, or uh, another shot that I took off the internet of the Diamond Princess, overlaid, so that we can see just how much of the Diamond Princess is obscured by the horizon. So remember that the Diamond Princess is just over 200 feet tall. We can see approximately half of the height of the ship is obscured by the horizon. And yet these flat earthers tell me that it is because my camera has run out of zoom. I find that statement incredible, given the fact that we can clearly see the top half of the ship, and there is no... Um, distortion in its shape. It's not like it's squashed down or anything like that. We can clearly see the top half of the ship right where it should be. In fact, right here you can see the bridge of the ship sticking out. We can clearly see the, uh, although there is a lot of haze, we can clearly see the structure of the back of the ship as I flip backwards and forwards. And yet these flat earthers tell me that my camera has run out of zoom. Well, if that's the case, why is it that we can still see the top half of the ship and the ship from from bow to stern takes up one third of the width of my image. If I'd run out of zoom then this should be have disappeared in the, um, the vanishing point which is another word that flat earthers like to use. But we can clearly see the top half of the ship with the bottom half of the ship obscured by the horizon. So in this screenshot here, and I'll go full screen on this one, we can see the distance out to the Diamond Princess, 
when I stopped recording, and that was just under 16 miles from the beach of Mount Munganui out to this position here at 6.32 UTC. Now I also have the raw video uh, of this um, uploaded as an unlisted video because it's, uh, it's a long video with no commentary, so I just uploaded it as an unlisted link, but I will post that link in the description area underneath this video. Here is where I was filming uh, most of those shots from, except the earlier shot that I said was down too close to the water. Um, as you can see with the height of my tripod, the height to the camera on the tripod would have been approximately four or five feet, and my elevation from the water level to the bottom of the tripod would have been about two feet. So we're looking at a filming height of around about six feet from the water level. Here's a wider shot, and here is the side view. Now, you'll notice this bit of seaweed here that's on the ground, and these marks here. If I go back, uh, you can see that same piece of seaweed and the marks on the ground there. If you look right in the distance there, you can just see the Diamond Princess. In fact, that was taken on my phone camera. That's on a different camera. In the raw video that I've got uploaded as uh, an unlisted link, uh, you'll see the extent of the zoom on the camera because I do zoom right out a few times and then zoom right back in again. So there we have it, the Diamond Princess, just over 200 feet tall, disappearing over the horizon, which should be impossible on a flat earth. Here is the information on the Diamond Princess. As I scroll down, you can see the height and length of the ship here. It is 290 meters or 952 feet long, and it is 62.5 meters tall, which works out to 205 feet tall. As always, do check out my Facebook discussion page, Voices of Reason to Explain X or Vortex. You'll find a link in the description area. Thank you for watching.